In this video, I'm going to talk about what happens when you use more than one datum reference frame in a part. You're going to get what's known as relative shift, which is very similar to datum shift. So datum shift is defined in the ASME standards as when you have a feature of size that serves as your datum. In this case on the board, none of the datums are features of size, but we're still going to get you know, shift due to the datum moving, and I'll show you why in a second. The function of this part, okay, so it's just a long rectangle with a hole on each end. Let's say that something fits in this hole and this edge, and then on the other side, something fits in this hole and on this edge. And then the overall length doesn't matter so much, but we've got to get that fit on both ends, which isn't, you know, an unrealistic function, right? It could be, you know, this connects to a trailer and that connects to a tractor pentole, right? So the way we can do this is by making this edge a separate datum from this edge. And the reason we would do that, we're going to apply a position to here to A, B, and C, which I haven't shown on the drawing, but it would be position A, B, C. So you'd be measuring from right here, right? Which is straightforward enough. The problem with using A, B, and C on the other hole is that you've got to span this large distance to accurately measure the position of the hole from way over here. Now, it depends what the position is, but let's say we pick a position of 40 thousandths, that could be difficult to verify. And it also you know, doesn't meet our functional requirements, or it might meet the requirements, but it's overly restrictive. So what we're gonna do, and what I've already done on the board, is specify this side with a profile of a hundred thousandths to A, B, and C. So we're relating this back to the original datum reference frame. We're going to control it with an orientation and form tolerance to A and B, so we're not actually measuring over here, and we're going to make that datum D. So now the hole on this side, we're going to say ABD. So we're indicating that there's another datum reference frame over in this corner to measure the location of that hole from, which does make things much easier. You could conceivably measure the location of that profile with a tape measure, right, over the 64 inches. A hundred thousandths, if you're Anywhere in the middle of that tolerance zone, a tape measure is good enough. Now, if you're at the edge of the tolerance zone, you would need some more accurate instrument. All right. So what happens here is that now this surface can move 50 thousandths left and right in relation to the original datum reference frame. So if we're measuring the location of this hole to this end, right, the hole goes with it. Right, so if this is 50 thousandths this way and the hole is dead on, there's an additional 50 thousandths distance between the two holes. And that's what I mean. You get additional tolerance here, which may or may not be bad. And it just depends how you're looking at it. So if it matters that the hole is close to this edge, but doesn't matter if, you know, how far it is away from this one, this is a perfect scheme. Now, Exactly how far can the hole be away, right? 50 thousandths left to right plus the radius of this diameter, another 20 thousandths left or right from over here. If we're just looking at it from datum D, right, the hole can only be that 40 thousandths tolerance zone, 20 thousandths in either direction. So it just depends how you want to look at it, but you do need to account for this because it's going to change the overall length of the part, right? We've got 50 thousandths that will change this left and right. And of course, this drawing is incomplete, right? It's not a you know, completed thing. This is just to illustrate this concept of relative shift. The more datum reference frames you have on your you know, drawing, the more of this you're going to get. Right, each datum reference frame really should be related to you know each other with basic dimensions and geometric tolerances. Just like when you qualify your original datum reference frame, you really wouldn't want to establish another datum with a plus or minus dimension. Right, that's kind of a no-no. Uh, I don't know if it's explicit in the ASME standard. You really just don't want to do it though. The same way you wouldn't have 
a secondary datum that's not qualified to the primary datum. So that's it for this video. Just a quick talk about this concept of having these multiple datum reference frames and what kind of things you can get. You can get something like datum shift even though none of the datums are features of size, right? Just because of how we set it up. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below.